deception, right? So someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. I do feel, again, what's the danger about this attention seeking? There's attention seeking is what I'm saying. Um, and it is going to make whoever is affected by this, if it's you, Sag, it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. I mean, let's call it for what it is, right? And you don't need someone who needs attention elsewhere. Six of Swords. We have true love, past life relationships. See, this, this to me, the depths of this shows this on again, off again energy where it just, you guys been together for so long. And it's like, you guys been cruising with this honeymoon. To me, this is a Six of Swords energy and healing family issues. So you, um, a lot of you have kids with your person, but you have to decide what you deserve. You deserve love. And I think this is a question mark space right now in terms of like dealing with your person and get, and actually getting past this point because if they're in this situation if there are children involved you know you guys are going to try to work it out because it's a family right it's it's you see yourself it's you know the two of you and your child it's like you, some of you really hold this to your heart where you want your family to be together um i feel i just feel this deception is definitely attention seeking um the only way around this if you're going to work things out um sag is basically understanding where this why this person needs the attention understanding what they lack that's the only way understanding what is lacking in their life in, internally because that's an internal issue and even though we're not here to fix people but it's like this off again then your dialogue with this energy has to be different like uh, your approach how you speak to them it can't be the, whatever conversations you are having with your person is not effective the conversations need to be different and now you've got to you got to go for not this is what you've been doing, why you want to be with other women. You got to attack what's happening internally. And that's that's really saying, why do you need attention? Why this validation is needed for you? This has nothing to do with me. Why do you need, you know, like this obviously is you. You need it. So you're lacking something I can't give you, which is fine. Um, but if you can help yourself and if you want to continue getting that attention then that's a decision you need to make for yourself but you don't don't take blame or or you know but also see what that mirrors back because sometimes you know um you know i always think about this person's a cheater obviously i'm not advocating for you to be with cheaters but you know sometimes you know we forgive our people and you know, I always think about that Oprah Winfrey. Um, it was years ago when she had her Oprah show. When she interviewed, I forgot how many men. I think it was like over 20 men and why they cheat. And the reason for all of them saying was the same reason was basically lack of appreciation. Um, and I actually had this conversation with um, my person um, the other day. And, you know, he, in his situation, he was actually the one cheated on in his marriage so he's also he's separated from um he's gone through a separation with his ex and she was the one who had emotional connections and she was on instagram getting all this social media attention and you know he's just like you know it's just one of those things where what what could have it have been even though she's very narcissistic um her approach to finding attention was was her way out and you know like he suffered he suffered a lot i mean he's a very good man but we that's why i'm like it's never gender specific this is never men and women go through this we can be the kind of souls and then our significant other is looking for attention elsewhere and they don't even know why um and in his case it's definitely something this person doesn't have within themselves um that they they, they keep seeking um outside of themselves so in this case, this is what your this energy feels like to me. So we have solar plexus, emotional loss, four of wands, and solitude. Yeah, 
you're spending a lot this separation is for a reason and you're spending a lot of time i think you need to reestablish. yes this was a lot of you is a marriage definitely past like long term is there's a lot invested here a lot of time a lot of emotions this has not been because three solar plexus one empress energy but it's about a life force and right now this could be a very um emotional time or it was remember you guys timeline is different for everyone i'm just feeling the energies now so either even if you experienced it in the past i feel them in the now but you know it was a very it's a it's, this is a very transitional period and there's a lot resurfacing and there's a lot of upset yeah nine of swords a lot of upset of two of pentacles you know like what to do also um, being a little indecisive, but again, it's because there's a lot at stake here. Okay, more of the solar plexus. Knight of Wands. Uh, and, and that's where maybe this person, I'm feeling this is where the wounds are in the solar plexus. Again, so solar plexus is the driving force to life. If solar plexus is out of balance that means that is that is a case of depression that is a, a case of not having sense of direction and um literally not having too much meaning in life so they can engage in these knight of wands energy where they're seeking attention and it's very playful um here we have six of wands six of swords the page of wands and the queen of swords yeah so to me, this feels like that in and out energy where you guys are trying to constantly work things out, but this person needs a lot of attention, six of wands, a lot of attention seeking, um, you know, a lot of validation that you're like, what the fuck, you know, six of swords. It's like, we try to work things out. And the question is, is it ever enough? I, you know, for some of you people, like some of this energy, this can go very deep for some of them. It can go so deep that there is really nothing you can do. And you've got to get into this Queen of Swords, Sag, where you've got to really, really, this is, oh, this is what I'm saying. This Page of Swords, the communication, the way you attack this and you speak to them has to be with this Queen of Swords energy. You know more compassion with the heart. I mean, you can be soft, but you've got to also protect yourself. And this is knowing your value because the queen of swords does not put up with any bs it's been a long time coming and at this point the queen of swords logically finds a different approach is not is she's not so much in her emotions she's very much in her mind and although reverse we don't want to be reverse queen of swords because that's very manipulative and very toxic as well so we don't want to mirror back toxicity but energies like this can make us dive into our lower selves you want to be high vibe queen of swords in the way you communicate this person talk to them right so get around this emotional loss Ooh, this is deep yeah so the fights the fleeting energy the the inconsistency emotional loss knight of swords ten of pentacles the inconsistency of the stability of this connection really really um is challenging here temperance um there's a lot that needs you guys have to be patient about and i think for a lot of you the patience is basically up and it's like not knowing what to do game runs the knight of swords yeah four of swords the moon it's like what do we do yeah ten of, ten of cups four of swords the moon and the knight of wands it's like, it's so, it's so fleeting. It's like, you don't know what day it is. You, you don't know how they're going to feel one day. You don't know if they're going to cheat on you the next day. You don't know if they're going to go out and need attention. It's so unstable, very unstable. And it's going to put you in this energy. So I feel like I'm picking up on a group that is very much in this thinking stage, like trying to resolve internally. And I think the most important message here is you need to first resolve internally. There's a need to think about you and how to come out of this yourself more at peace and more, um, more strength 
like I really seen the strength card here. Okay, more of this foundation, four of wands. Why the four of wands? More courage to vocalize and just it, um, increasing your strength. And to do that, you have to rest. Okay, more of this four of wands. You have to you have to actually rest. Your emotions need to rest. That's what I'm feeling here, Sag. There goes that king of wands, ace of swords. So you guys. This is you, Sag, or you guys can be dealing with another fire sign or air sign, but very strong wand energy. So again, someone's very, you know, there's just a clarity needed here. So you're clear about Ace of Swords. You're getting clarity here. I think you know what you want. This, this I feel like, again, this is a new beginning. And Ace of Swords is like triumphing. It's, off, it's like a battle. This, you're Queen of Swords the knight of swords this is not the easiest connection to battle so if you want a new beginning with this person it's going to be in a battle and it's going to be conquering a lot of this past energy and the choice is if if we're going to have this new beginning with our person could we release the past that is the ace of swords can you really let go of the ten of swords and have a whole mental new beginning and see this connection with fresh eyes can are you capable of doing that um get one of the solitude ten of wands it's a challenge yeah temperance in the sun there was that leo energy you know you've you got to temper your take your time that's what i'm getting from this temperance solitude ten of wands and judgment this is your call to action of how much more can you handle? How much more can you take? How much more do you care to take? And there's no need to make a decision at this moment. Or maybe some of you are ready um, and are like, no, I don't want to. But I use this reading as a healing because obviously we're still here, right? So if we're clicking on this video is because it's still in our energy. But you got to try to heal you first. And I really feel this is about you and finding some enlightenment about your own emotions. But I also feel it's like taking back your power. You got to take back your power here, Saj. Um, so what is the guidance here? What is the guidance here for Sagittarius? What means the blockage? What is the blockage for this connection? What else is the blockage here? this is so deep so release old emotional wounds are keeping you in a karmic cycle cry and let go and i do feel like are you willing to release this ten of swords and mentally start over and sometimes these wounds are going to keep you in this karmic cycle so the repeat of them behaving this way if we don't change our response um then this continues and you know that's really up to you yeah evolution you are no longer that person i feel that strongly uh you you are you've got to allow yourself time to evolve and i think the fact that this is coming up as a blockage evolution is because you know you know it to be true you know it to be true you know that you've been ignoring your soul for a while and at this point, you're, it's a, it is an opportunity. It may not feel that way emotionally, but you're changing and your wants, avoidance, avoiding the truth. You've done it too long. I do feel this was a blockage. So avoiding it is not going to help. I think attacking it, like I said, it's like the vocalization of this and operating from a queen of swords energy is the way to go higher, higher self of queen of swords, right? higher version of the queen of self um queen of swords not the you know lower version of the queen of swords so let's see what your guidance is for what is the guidance for Sag, please. yeah divine timing there goes that temperance again so you've got to give yourself time the universe has got your back trust that everything will work out when the time is right for it there's no such a thing as coincidence so you know, this is something that's bringing about change for you. Wow. Um, we've got retreat. Yes, I do feel that. This is your hermit energy. So take a break to clear your mind and energy. Ground yourself. I think this is an opportunity. Truly, truly. I know, like I said, doesn't emotionally feel that way, but you're evolving. 
the hermit evolves. There's so much knowledge that, you know, we look at our life lessons. We look at things with judgment. Are you kidding me? This is a, a renewal. This is a, a resurrection. Judgment's a resurrection of ourselves. So when we're evolving, we get to resurrect. And, you know, life, the pains of life always give us moments of resurrection. So we always come out things. And then, you know, those are the things we need to pay attention to. So this retreat really stirs, does serve onward. Yep, no need to overthink. Move forward with a decision. Yes, and the stars. Some nights I look up at the stars and feel small, but never lonely. And you're not alone, you know. Always think that you're not the first or only person who's been. It's easy for us to be like, oh, I've been through this and kind of feel like you're the only person. But other people have similar stories. Other people have felt your pain. And the goal is getting clear and finding some gratitude and lessons behind this and just move forward with a decision just take your steps and move forward you know page of pentacles that's what that is you know we have queen of swords and restabilizing four of wands it's about bringing this change um but in a more but a more positive way right even if we do go back to this person then we need to make sure we're communicating properly to our person and how we feel um in this transition so um, Sag, I'm going to leave it there. Please like, share, subscribe.